You know, it's always a good thing to have very good friends. And it's always interesting to look into the lives of the saints and see which saints were friends with other saints and how they got along. Did you know that our saint, Saint Gertrude, one of her greatest friends was a saint already in heaven. And this saint would often come and appear to her and speak to her in very loving ways and teach her many things. This was the apostle and evangelist, Saint John, whom we honor today on this, uh, this feast of May 6th. He's a beautiful saint, but on one occasion, Saint Gertrude, he was, she was talking to our Lord and this was on the occasion when, when one time St. John actually appeared to St. Gertrude. And then St. Gertrude looked to our Lord and said, Lord, why is such a great saint as St. John, one who is so loved by you, allowed to come and visit me, who am so very unworthy? And our Lord said this, I did this so that you and he might have a very special bond of friendship. And because you have no apostle, I have appointed him to be your faithful advocate with me in heaven. And so St. Gertrude went on to ask our Lord, then teach me, what can I do to show my thankfulness to him for being my friend? And that's when our Lord gave the famous devotion to St. John that we should all say every day if we can remember. Our Lord said, if anyone says just a single hour father in honor of this apostle, St. John, reminding him of the sweet faithfulness with which his heart was filled when I taught him this prayer, the hour father, then he will not fail to obtain for whoever prays this way the grace of persevering in virtue, even to the end of his life. And St. Gertrude, you can be assured, kept that devotion up in honor of St. John the rest of her life, and now she is in heaven. Well, that was on the feast of St. John in December when St. John appeared to her, but also on the feast that is occurring today, St. John before the Latin gate, once more St. John appeared to St. Gertrude. And this time he appeared to her to console her. She was troubled about many things. And particularly because she was either sick or feeling weak that day, and her body was failing a little bit. So St. John came and consoled her and said, don't be troubled, don't be anxious about this. You're a little sick, but what you suffer in this world is but little, and it will last only for a moment in comparison with the eternal delights which we now enjoy in heaven. And then he went on to say to St. Gertrude, remember that I was actually more sickly than you are now, St. Gertrude, and yet you see the delight that I now have in heaven. And so after your death, Gertrude, you, many people will live in your heart and you will live in the hearts of many and draw many souls to God. You see how beautiful a thing that is, that two saints, one on earth and one in heaven, could become such great friends and they would see each other. Well, today, I think we made pretty good friends with not just one saint, but the whole court of heaven. That's what we did when before mass, we processed around the church and even outside, asking each saint for help. They listened to us too, you can be assured. Because remember, the, the feast days that we celebrate here on earth, they're also celebrated in heaven because we, the church militant, make one in the same church with them, the church triumphant. We should never forget that. 
Every feast day observed here is also observed in heaven. When we invoke them to pray for us, they did so. We made great friends. There is one more lesson I'd like to tell you about St. Gertrude. It's something that she did. It's kind of a falls along the line of, have you children heard of the communion of saints? Well, everyone in the church, whatever prayer we say or good work we do, everyone gets something out of it, be it ever so small. Well, on the Monday before the Ascension, which is today, St. Gertrude, she wanted to do something to make reparation for the sins of the whole world. And so what she did is, she went out to visit a person who was sick, and she took very good care of this person, although she herself was feeling quite weak and ill that day, and uh, all the work that she did, it said, was much beyond her strength. Nevertheless, she offered these works to God as a thanksgiving and to make satisfaction for all of the sins that men had committed. And our Lord received it. And, she re and our Lord received many souls, too, through St. Gertrude. Let's never forget, when we're too weak to pray, try it anyway. Say at least a little prayer. And then when we can't do anything more, let us offer to God the prayers of the saints the prayers of St. John, for example, and let us offer up the prayers of our fellow Catholics to Almighty God. This is a beautiful thing about the communion of saints. And in this way, we can, like St. Gertrude, please Almighty God, and at the same time, give great glory and pleasure to our friends, the saints in heaven. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen.